Hi guys, today I want to talk to you about uses of radioactivity. Uses in medicine. Radioisotopes can be used as traces for diagnosis or for treatment such as radiotherapy. So in the photograph on the left, you can see a picture of a person's thyroid. And that person's been injected with a salt containing iodine-123. And this is a gamma emitter, and it's used to study the thyroid gland. Now the reason they use a gamma emitter is because it will uh, penetrate out of the body and into the gamma camera. And gamma radiation can also be used to kill cancerous tumors that are deep inside the body. Thickness control in manufacturing. Beta radiation is used to control the thickness of paper during paper manufacture. Okay, and how this works is the paper, well it goes through a set of rollers that can go up and down and control the thickness. And then there's a beta emitter, and the beta emitter uh, emits the radiation through the paper to a GM tube, and there's a computer that's constantly reading the amount of radiation that gets through. Now, with the beta emitter, if not very much radiation gets through, that's because the paper's become too thick. And if a little amount of radiation gets, sorry, and if a lot of radiation gets through, that's because the paper's become too thin. And then the computer uh, can work out how thick the paper is by, by sensing the amount of radiation getting through and therefore control the thickness of the paper. Uh, alpha sources are used in smoke detectors. So alpha is easily absorbed by smoke particles and the detector will signal an alarm when the radiation level drops. So we've got our alpha source and then normally when there's no smoke there the alpha source will just go straight through the air to the detector uh, and the detector is sensing the alpha particles all the time so it doesn't trigger the alarm but as soon as smoke gets in the way the alpha is blocked and therefore the detector suddenly realizes well I can't uh, detect the alpha source anymore therefore there must be smoke in the way and the alarm gets triggered. Uh, food irradiation. So uh, gamma radiation can penetrate deep into food and it can be used to kill harmful bacteria. So how this works is well you have a lead shield surrounded by a gamma source and then your uh, little apple or whatever uh, goes through uh, on a conveyor belt and gets irradiated killing any bacteria. But that does not leave the food uh, in any way radioactive. It's just the radiation has passed through it. Once it's left the, the box there's no radiation on the food at all. Uh, radiocarbon dating. The half-life of carbon-14 is 5,400 years and by measuring the ratio of carbon-14 to carbon-12 we can calculate the age of organic material. And this photograph is a picture of the Turin Shroud and it's believed to contain a photo or, well, an image of Jesus of Nazareth. However, the, using carbon dating it was shown that it actually dates back to medieval times rather than biblical times. Okay guys, I hope that's been useful. Bye for now.